Hey guys, I'm G from Dadsyourgarbage.com and this video is about me talking about Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion. Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion is the newest expansion to the Sins of a Solar Empire franchise and I'm a long time fan. I've played, you know, Sins of a Solar Empire the original and I've also played Diplomacy. I missed the one in between them uh, but I definitely played Diplomacy and then I went straight into Rebellion. I just want to say that Sins of a Solar Empire is that sci-fi game that I've always been waiting for. I've always wanted to be an admiral in, you know, command a navy in space and just go around, flying around, conquering galaxies. I always thought that concept of a video game was something that hasn't really been done right and it's something I've always wanted to play. Sins of a Solar Empire gave me that option, let me play that the game that I've always wanted to play and I absolutely love it. Sins of a Solar Empire Rebellion adds a couple of key things to the Sins of a Solar Empire, like, mix that I think the game really needed and I think it actually really improved the game first thing that got added was new factions. Well, not really new. Sins of the Solar Empire already had three factions. The Tech, the Advent, and the Vasari. The Techs were the regular humans. The Advent were the psychic, psychic humans, you know, kind of weird telepathy or whatever. Uh, and then the Vasari were the creepy-ass aliens that came into our solar system and started screwing stuff up. Now, there's the Tech, re tech Rebels, the Vasari Rebels, and the uh, Advent Rebels. Sorry, I don't know why I struggled with that. I just said it. So anyway, now we have new factions. They all play very different than their counterparts. The tech now have the ability to focus on defensive measures and technology. They able to deploy cheaper star bases. They can construct two star bases around their planets. And they, they have more heavy armor in the defensive structures. And they can deploy t cheaper Nova Lift cannons. Those are the cannons that shoot from star system to star system. The uh, tech rebels, for instance, have... Um, the ability to ally with rebel factions, gain economic benefits from attacking other empires, and can ally with neutral and pirate factions for aid. The rebels may construct the awesome Ragnarok of Titan, which you can actually see in this video. That's me building it. That thing is absolutely ridiculous. I'll talk a little bit more about that when I cover Titans. The uh, Advent Loyalists, they want to assimilate any who survive, and Loyalists uh, have the culture of mind control, and they can Im they, I don't know. The Advent Loyalists use their unique culture to mind control enemy ships, enemy f uh, friendly vessels with their cultural borders and take vengeance on foes. Advent Loyalists may build the Chronotona Titan, a unique warship capable of inflicting enormous damage and, e and even of instantly acquiring hostile planets. Basically the, thi the thing is like just dirty, it plays like Advent should, using trickery to win. The Advent Rebels on the other hand are able to use the purified unit to revive destroyed ships. Sacrifice worlds to inflict terrible damage to adjacent planets and rapidly spread their culture to assist their fleets. Rebels can also construct the Iradia Titan, a powerful offensive ship that is supremely difficult to defeat. I've never had to fight one, but it, it looks like it's really scary and I'd rather not have to. As for the Vasari, the Loyalists basically strip mine planets. Uh, they're, they can call on the Dark Fleet for aid. I haven't seen that yet, but it looks like it would be pretty bad. Their Titan is a deadly warship capable of instantaneous movement splash damage and eats enemy ships. Sorry, the Rosari, the Rosari Rebels uh, are capable of quick hit and run attacks. They share phase networks and are moving their star bases to new systems. So their frontline defense is the best frontline defense you can actually have. Overall, I think that these new additions to the faction as well as their special faction abilities mixes things up enough that the game feels like new. It plays completely different. When you're fighting a tech rebel, it's nothing like fighting tech used to be and I actually really like it. The next thing I want to talk about real quick is the Titans. You saw them in the video. This whole video is basically just Titans blowing stuff up. I love it. Titans are amazing. I had a pretty big fleet of frigates uh, with two battleships uh, fly into a system. My Titan got finished building. I warped it into the system. It immediately turned the tide of that battle. I was able to mop up the system instantaneously. Then I took the Titan and what was left of my ships, jumped into another system with a starbase, and just the battleships and the Titan survived. Well, my frigates died, but they were able to destroy the starbase and take the system. You can't understate how powerful titans are in this game, and as they should be. They cost about 9,000 credits to build. They're not something you invest in lightly, but when you actually do get one, it, it turns the tide of battles. It's beautiful. They're huge also. Like I don't know if you guys can tell in the video, but they're friggin' terribly big. Uh, there was also smaller ships that were added, corvettes. They're really fast. They're basically just engines strapped to guns, which is something I like. I always felt that frigates 
um, were kind of too slow and stationary for my liking, and the Corvettes actually added that speed that I thought they needed. Um, there has been some cruisers added to each faction. I haven't really built any of them. I haven't really had a chance to actually dig very deep into the game. I've only actually played the Tech Rebels because I love Tech, and I love that Titan. But so far, what I've seen added, I like. Overall, i got to give this game an 8.5 to a 9. I think they did a really good job of adding new stuff to the game, coming out with another expansion. A lot of the stuff that you like about Sins of Solar Empire has not changed. The map build is still excellent. There's a lot of online scenarios you can download that are really awesome. The game's stock scenarios are still all there. You can still play them. Multiplayer is still the same old awesomeness. Nothing really changed there. Uh, the graphics did get an overhaul. They do look a lot better. Uh, entering phase space now doesn't look so cheap as you know that big blue wave thing. It kind of it's, it's just more it's more nice to look at uh, when you see all your ships lining up to warp their to enter phase space. It just looks awesome. Explosions look better. Ships shooting look better. That big cannon on the on the Tech Rebel uh, Titan is beautiful when it shoots. You actually see this big bolt of plasma just fly in the enemy ship and just explode on contact. It's 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 staggering how good this game looks. If you're a fan of sci-fi and if you're a fan of mass spaceship battles, this game is definitely for you. Don't even hesitate. Go on Steam, download it, buy it if you can find it in stores. Just get this game. I absolutely love it. I recommend it to anyone who likes sci-fi. I'm trying to get Lorenzo to play it, but he's too busy playing Auction House Tycoon. But, I mean, honestly, if you like sci-fi, this game's for you. Check it out. I'm G from That's Your Garbage. Thank you for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you enjoy Sins of Solar Empire Rebellion, and hopefully I'll see you online.